if only I had the courage. If only I had the courage. That's what we're going to explore today. Hi, it's Martin, coach, speaker, author. And in the last video, we came to the abundant realization that we always have a choice. We have a choice what we use our time and our energy for in every second of the day. Some choices are more difficult than others. Some choices have more impact than others. But nonetheless, they are a choice. What we discovered was it's often fear and the stories we tell ourselves that convince us there's a lack of choice. And that we have to go on this path rather than make a choice to go over here. We convince ourselves that there is no other choice. But now we know different. You see, now we're inspired to think big and to look at all the opportunities around us, of which there are many during these extraordinary times. To review just what's been serving us and what hasn't and what maybe our future could look like if we made some different choices. These are all in our power. And with this abundant choice, very often comes, ah, if only I had the courage to make that choice. You see, it's in human nature to fear the unknown, to fear the path that we haven't trodden before. You see, for 66 million years, it's kept us safe because the unknown could be a saber-toothed tiger or a bear. And so we prefer to remain safe with what we know and where we know. And we alluded to in the last video that sometimes in this modern world, what can happen is that safe place, that comfort zone is sometimes pretty uncomfortable. And yet we've convinced ourselves in order to stay safe, in order to limit the risk, in order to avoid the saber toothed tiger of our times, we ought to stay where we are. In caveman times, let's take the analogy that you're safe in your cave. That is your retreat. It's your comfort zone. You know your cave is solid. And it's where you can keep your family safe from the saber-toothed tigers. But it rains heavily. And the cave starts to flood. Yet your belief in the cave being a safe place, your comfortable, secure place, means you don't move from the cave. And yet the cave is filling with water all the time, therefore putting your life at risk and the life of your loved ones around you at risk. What do you do in that situation? Are you going to stay where you think it's safe? Or are you going to venture out somewhere new because the threat has become too great? It seems an obvious choice, and yet today, day in, day out, people stay in unhealthy environments, doing unhealthy things, acting and having behaviours and thinking and a, pro a process that doesn't serve us in any way, shape or form and can make us extremely ill, and yet we'll convince ourselves we can't possibly risk the unknown. And we may say that this is where courage 
comes in. This is where courage to step forward into the unknown, to take the risk. The risk and is the opportunity for a better life. Is courage enough? Is it about courage? Well, the motivation here, the realization here, is that actually the way you reduce the fear, the way you therefore boost your confidence, and maybe not even rely on your confidence and your courage as much, is to align yourself with a rock solid purpose. And we talked a little bit about this in the last video, but purpose, the reason you're great big because is absolutely critical to you making a choice to do something different. It is the difference between you committing intentionally to go down a new path and stick in the course and either not taking the choice in the first place or taking the first two steps and then retreating back to your safe comfortable cave and when we talk about purpose we've really got to dig deep so i encourage you to dig deep there may be now opportunities choices that you could make that you're seeing, you're seeing opportunities around you of how you might be able to shape your life going forward. Now, now is the time to align yourself with why would you make that choice? Let's take the example I often use is in fitness. I want to get fit. I want to get fit is a noble quest. It's the kind of quest that a lot of people have as, as a New Year's resolution. And yet what happens? I want to get fit three, four weeks down the line. Life has got in the way and we're no longer going to the gym. Or on that exercise program that we thought was going to get us fit so what was what was wrong what was the missing part well the missing part was digging deeper why do you want to get fit why did you want to make this change which isn't just going to change your fitness it changes your routine it impacts other things you're going to have to sacrifice something that you're doing now and replace it with this new thing in order to do that, given that what we've been doing before is caught up in all kinds of routines and habits and autopilot, we're going to have to have a very strong reason to keep on going. That's why we drill down. I want to get fit. Why do you want to get fit? Well, I, I've kind of neglected myself for a good number of years now. But why, why have you done that? Well, I've been I've been working really hard. I've been focusing on my career. I work very long hours. I barely see my family, let alone be able to take time out for myself. Okay. Well, how's that making you feel? Well, it makes me feel absolutely terrible. I've got no energy. I'm exhausted all of the time. And actually, you know what really gets me? Is at the weekends when I'm with my family and I'm with my boys in the garden and they're playing. And I can only keep up with them for about 60 seconds before my heart is pounding out of my chest and I feel sick to my stomach and I go dizzy. I wish I could keep up with my children for just a little bit longer. I wish I could experience the joy that they're experiencing rather than letting my fitness or their lack of ruin my experience so when we talk about i want to get fit there's a lot there now, there's a lot of coaching about the work stuff and all that working hours but at the core of it i'm doing this yes for me and there must be an understanding that being that unfit is going to be 
is going to bring on potential health risks going forward. So we want to be healthy going forward. And we want to be healthy for now for our children so we can enjoy our time with our children and also be with them so we can enjoy quality time in the future with our children. Now, all of a sudden, we've got a purpose. We've got something that when things get tough, we're not going to forget that this is not just about getting fit. This is about my life experience with my family. This is about quality time with my family. And if nothing else changed, if I still had to work so hard, I wanted to make the quality time that I do have with my family, I want to make sure it's quality time. And not me feeling resentful and guilty and exhausted instead. All of a sudden, we've got an incredible purpose. We've got an incredible reason for making the change. And so, during this time, when we start thinking about the abundant amount of choices and opportunities that you have right now, for now and in the future, maybe take one. One that you think would make a big difference. And it doesn't need to be a big change or a big choice. Sometimes the smallest of choices can make an incredible difference. But pick one of these things and drill down. Really drill down to why. Get to the emotion of it. What's the real reason deep, deep down as to why this is important? This must happen. Move from I want to do this to I need to do this and I need to do it for these reasons. Enjoy that exercise because it's empowering and it will get you motivated to act. So if only I had the courage. Maybe it's not all about the courage. In our next video, we're going to wrap everything up and look at if only I knew where to start. <laughs>